And welcome back to another episode of Hippy Dippy. So I haven't been training off camera. I'm gonna wing it and hopefully we don't get our asses kicked. However, I do have my fair share of items, so I think I should be fine. Uh, Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. Okay. I'll get every item off camera. But yeah, man. So, you see, my statement was not false. You are responsible for all of this. You dreamed up this repeating day, and as a result, I was born. That can't be right. It's right, all right. Can you not right now, Tachibana? Sorry. So the answer was by my side since the very beginning. I mean, it's not like I knew. Asai, you really are the ultimate neat. I'm feeling like that's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> You're straight up needy Gonzalez. Needy Gonzalez? Yeah, definitely not a compliment. You need to get a job right now. I don't think anyone's hiring in here. You know, though, this could be a good opportunity for you. Mizuki, you're supposed to be on my side. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry, everyone. You've all been put through the ringer because of my stupid-ass delusion. I'm really sorry. <sighs> what are you apologizing for? I thought that was obvious. I mean, if that counts as putting everyone through the ringer, then I'm just as guilty, if not more so. That's right. Your delusion was much, much worse, Saki. By whole magnitudes. Essentially a living hell. You, uh... <laughs> <laughs> not that, Katomi. Katomi's I fucking out for blood! Out of trouble too. Yeah, and I'm certainly not one to criticize. My house is too glassy to throw any stones after the delusion I created. It's the same for me. Not one of us holds this against you, Asahi. After all, we're only human. And humans delude themselves. It's in our nature. That's right. Each and every one of us has a delusion of our very own. Thank you. All of you. How is it, I wonder, that all of you can get along so well under such bizarre and trying circumstances? At times like this, there's not much you can do but laugh. If there's another approach that you're aching to tell us about, though, by all means, do so. I think you're all forgetting something. If the delusion of the repeating day were to be shattered, Asahi, you would lose all your memories. What? Dude! Holy shit. So this day will not repeat itself and no one will remember anything! God damn, man. This is fucking intense! Shit. What the hell are you talking about? You've seen it countless times already, have you not? Everything that's occurred will be forgotten completely. All the brilliant memories you've forged with your precious friends, gone. All of them? And tragically, there's more. You only met your friends after Sunday began repeating. So all of that falls within the bounds of events that occurred within the delusion of the repeating day. You don't mean... All the rumors of the delusion contractor as well, of course. They too are contained within your delusion. So if this time loop ceases, the rumors of the pink caped man will cease to exist as well. Today, my birthday, will be undone. And finally, I will be too. But that means we'll all forget all of this. Everything from the moment the loop began will be gone. As if it never occurred at all. No! That's right. Next time you meet, you will all be strangers. Even if you pass one another on the street, you will feel nothing and take no notice. Knowing this, can you still destroy the delusion? That's a heavy fucking burden. <sighs> I can't. Asahi. I see. At first, I hated this new life. I didn't want to leave my apartment. I just wanted to sleep in constantly. But spending my time with all these people has been a lot of fun. I mean, I knew in my head that our good times would have to come to an end. 
that once this mess was finally resolved, we'd all go our separate ways. But if the alternative is being together with these people forever, then that's what I want to do. Even if we have to separate and can only see one another every now and again, that's fine. That's totally fine. So why? Why can't we at least be able to remember that we met? What if it's our fate never to meet? That's too sad. And I can't... I can't put an end to our time together. That's some heavy shit. Holy shit, this has gotten serious, man. Asahi. Then my wish will continue to elude my reach. Very well. No, it won't. Asagi? Because I'll nullify this delusion. What? Are you out of your mind? No, far from it. But won't you be sad, Saki? Of course I'll be sad. So why then? Because I'll find you all again. What? If the world goes back to the way it was before we met, I'll just track you all down again. We'll meet each other in the same ways. It'll all start in front of Akihabara Station, just like last time. But there's no guarantee we'll actually be able to make that happen. Yeah, our chances aren't great. After all, all of this will be erased from history. But I managed to remember before. It took a while, but I managed to remember every last one of you. If I can dream this big, there's no way I won't be able to remember eventually. It's not like Asahi would be the only one sad to forget everything. I will be too. Yeah, I can't deny I had some fun too. Personally, I'll be glad to be rid of all of you. <laughs> That's clearly a lie. Asahi, I think we all feel the same. You guys. So, Asahi, let's do this, okay? Damn, this is some heavy shit. I don't even know what the hell. So, reversing cannon now? Bring it up, bitch! The time has come for you to make a decision. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry for always being so indecisive. So, you will destroy me then? Destroy your delusion? I will. But I want you to let me play the hero to the bitter end. Does that mean you won't destroy it? No, I will. I'll destroy everything. My memories with my friends included. And you make that choice of your own volition, do you? I'm so sorry, everyone. Why are you apologizing, you spineless worm? She's right. Sort of. There's no reason to. If that's yeah. the decision you've made, that's good enough for me. Lean slate sounds pretty nice, really. I'll make sure we meet again. So let's take care of this delusion. On our own terms. You guys, I can't thank you enough. The stage is set for the last act. All that remains is for the curtain to fall. Let's do this. Let's tear it all down. Too bad I already know this ain't the end. One customer ready to be seated. Coming Let's show some true uh, It looks like a fucking sundial! Right Mr. Asahi, I don't believe that attack is effective. Right Here, up. Hit it now. Hit it now. Hit it now. Good form, yeah. Yeah. 
My god, damn it, man. Fuck it, die, you son of a bitch! Fuck it, die, you We got one. Thank goodness, man. We're not done yet, though. We got it. Is that the end? You're not blind. <sighs> too easy. You're breathing a little too heavily for it to have been that easy. I think I'm all battled out for one day. Good timing, given that it's all over. Not quite yet. Huh? Well, the Grand Phantasm's toast, but we still have our memories. Why? Cannon. I don't see him anywhere. Wait, so this isn't over? 
We'd better get outside and see if this delusion's as done as we think it is. Good point. The Sahi's done. The Sahi. Well, we beat the fuck out of him. Nighttime. Yes, it's nighttime already. Well, the encroachment stopped dead in its tracks for what that's worth. Does that mean we're out of the time loop? Only one way to find out. What day is it, Asahi? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. What's going on? Is the delusion not really destroyed or something? But the Grand Phantasm was destroyed, and the delusion is gone, right? Let's wait until midnight. We'll have our answer then. I've got a bad feeling about this. Nothing but bad feelings, really. Same. What's happening here? Is my repeating day going to end or not? Good question. We'll soon find out. It's midnight. It's almost time. <sighs> Here we go. What the heck is this? That's a really good question. I don't think that's normal. Uh, that's putting it lightly. 24 o'clock, huh? It could be a weird display thing. Let's see what happens in a minute. Twenty-four oh one. It isn't over. Does that mean it's Sunday again? One more ride around the big loop. One if we're lucky. I've never heard of twenty-four oh one before. Yeah. Instead of reset to zero. Yeah, exactly. That's all my point. We've somehow broken into a time that doesn't exist in the natural world. I think. What? what does that mean though? My delusion was destroyed. You were all there. You saw it. So why? Why won't this Sunday end? Hey, Asahi! Damn, Asahi's like fucking like pissed off. Asahi's like fucking ridiculous. Yeah, what's going on? Why does my delusion still exist? Asahi's losing his fucking mind. He's like losing it. 1201 There's no there's no such thing as 1201 Here too Saki and I nullified this. I know we did. <sighs> fucking a Saki's losing his fucking mind. Literally. This is so weird. This should have been destroyed too. Asahi Hey, what's going on? Have you guys figured anything out yet? Well... Asahi! There you are. You remember, right? The three of us nullified this delusion. There's no way I could forget. Then what's going on here? Just calm down, okay? How am I supposed to calm down while this is going on? There they are. Finally. Here too, huh? I'm getting a headache just thinking about all this. Masahi, looks like they found you. Hey, Mizuki, do you know what's going on here? Exactly what it looks like. Yeah, but that's just it. I don't understand what I'm seeing. Why did all the delusions come back from the dead? Today was supposed to have ended. Shouldn't that have made it so all of these delusions never happened? Yeah, it should have, but it very clearly didn't. Then what the hell is happening? I just don't get it. Oh, it's a Kemi. Hello, Ryu here. Yes? Uh, yes, probably. I think it's all of them. What? Okay, we'll head there right away. Thank you very much. What happened? 
The DAB is hosting an emergency press conference. This shit's gone really what? bad. They're going to be broadcasting it on the Jumbo Vision at UBX. Let's go, Asahi. I feel like this is the start of something big and maybe nasty. But what? This is just plain fucking ridiculous, man. Shit has gotten real! The music's ominous, man. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about this fucking place. I didn't expect to kill him on my first try. I guess I'm too OP at this point. Oh my god, this and this is point. fucking Perhaps ridiculous. We make use of it. I guess we're going up top then. Everyone's here. Look at the building. Those delusions look as strong as ever. Not that you'd know it looking at all the people gathering around. Nobody seems too disturbed about all this. And that's a delusion, all right. What the hell is the DAB trying to do here? They've never shown themselves in public before, have they? Yeah, their existence is something of a national secret. So why a press conference? Why now? Could there be some sort of connection between this delusion and the ones that revived themselves? Looks like it's starting. This is a special announcement from the Delusory Administration Bureau. Kurosaki? Why? How? You may be confused right now, and we understand that. Allow me to begin with the basics. At this time, Akihabara has been chosen to be a delusion sanctuary. It's been true of every era, from prehistory to modern day. Delusions lurked beneath every great event. But people uh. got lazy and began taking a few too many shortcuts. Uh -huh spilling gallons of blood before even taking the time to dry their teary eyes. Okay. So it became necessary to put an end to history as we knew it. And in order to begin writing a new history, even in the face of humiliation for my ideals, I chased them to the ends of the earth. So I have to kill that this guy? My and you may tell me my delusion is a bit much, if you'd like. But I will believe in it until my dying day. So the all right, so I guess we're saving it again. I gotta go fucking bullshitting my way up here! Chapter 16 till each day tomorrow. There are 16 chapters, I believe. So this is the last chapter. As a delusion sanctuary, our duty will be preserving and protecting delusions both in Akiba and across the world. Delusions are a privilege granted to all living beings and serve as a guidepost to the realization of inimitable ideals. This guy's got some fucking issues! They are a precious resource, and by protecting them, we hope to serve as a foundation for global development. What the hell does preserving delusions mean? That's what I'd like to know. Why? How? Kurosaki should be... he's... Seems our director is not somebody who dies so easily. If you've been disquieted by the appearance of an hour after midnight, by all means, Come and talk to us in person. And please, do not panic. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau want nothing more than to keep you safe. Keep us safe. We will look after not just your personal safety, but the peace of the world at large. A world in which delusions can be realized will be a world of ideals, <sighs> where war is a thing of the past. Do you not wish to see this world for yourselves? How about I kick your ass, asshole? Embrace a future where neither tears nor blood will ever have to be spilled again. Uh -huh. The invitation extends to every last one of you on the streets of Akihabara. 
as you have been chosen by delusion. We're chosen beings? For real? Huh, that's super jiggy. No, it's not true. Why have things turned out like this? But this is no longer the Akihabara you know. It has been reborn thanks to the efforts of a solitary group. This is fucked That's up. That's right. They transformed a day that kept repeating into a day that will never end. Every single one of them wished for this. Wished with all they had. Is he talking about us? That can't be right. And now, I introduce you to the man behind this delusion. The man who's truly taken up the mantle, so to speak. Though I do believe you all already know him. I speak, of course, of the pink cape delusion contractor, Cannon. Allow me to guide you to a We kicked your ass, asshole! Even than your wildest dreams. Take heart, everyone. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau have recruited the ultimate authority on delusion. Cannon! How? I think I'm starting to get it. The one we saw Kasuga kill was a decoy. A fake. Do you think Cannon made the devil? The Delusory Administration Bureau thanks you for your attention to our special announcement. But before we go, let's give the wonderful people responsible for this spectacle another hand. Shall we? They've been playing us this whole time. We've been had. They tricked us. Damn it. Damn. So shit's gotten real, man. So, from a time loop to a never-ending day, huh? Well, <laughs> so it's never gonna end. <laughs> That's why Cannon lured us in back there. He was trying to make us dream up a delusion where this day never ended. And I fell for it. I just kept thinking, I wish things could stay like this forever. And Cannon contracted it out into a fully-fledged delusion. And all because I hesitated. <laughs> Don't act like you're the only one who wanted that Tachibana. You're not that special as Snowflake. That's right. I thought the same thing. I didn't want to forget. So I didn't want the day to end. Who has no thumbs and thought the same thing? This guy. Me too. And I felt the same way, of course. I guess you could say I did too. I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, I was fine either way. Warms my heart, really. But why? Why would the pink caped freak contract out a delusion to make the day go on forever? Maybe he wanted to be immortal? I think the little lady's right. It had to have been a form of self-preservation. I wish someone would stop fucking doing all my fucking so maybe food! maybe not an avatar after all. Jackass! It was probably instinctual. <laughs> he doesn't know any other way to live. So we're stuck in a day that never ends? How is Pretty that much. different from a time-loop day? A time-looped day is just the same day repeating itself over and over again. Okay, and a day that never ends? I don't know. Huh? Well, I do know one thing, or I might. This is very fresh intel, so I haven't yet been able to corroborate it. Supposedly, we're completely trapped here in Akiba. Why? Akihabara is the only part of the world stuck in this particular day, which means that we cannot leave this time bubble we're a part of which cuts us off from the outside world. Probably because this is our delusion. And since we all met here in Akiba, our delusion is limited to this one day in this one spot. Which means the town is in a dangerous state. The reason and logic of the outside world no longer apply here. So, it's less of a delusion sanctuary and more of a delusion biosphere. I'm sure the DAB loves calling it a sanctuary. It's more of a preserve, though, if you think about it. True. The, the semantics aren't important. What happens if things go on like this? One second, one minute, one hour, one day, 
The time difference between here and the real world will keep slipping. And the farther removed we become, the less stable things will get. There's no telling what might happen. That doesn't sound good. The world will crumble beyond our feet! Then we need to nullify this delusion as soon as humanly possible. That's not going to be easy, though. The pink-caped weirdo is going to be anticipating that. But if we can destroy the delusion of the never-ending day, then all the other delusions will fall, right? Well, I see some knowledge does manage to penetrate the incredible thickness of your skull. Impressive. Shots fired! They're still making a Shut up! Still making a It's not just the delusion we have to destroy, though. This will be the end. For real. Yeah. We have to completely wipe out the day we spent together. I suppose we do, don't we? And here we all thought we were prepared. <laughs> Doesn't bug me. Hey, Ragey. I'll get to stop babysitting you punks and we'll be freed from all these damn delusions. Finally get to live my life. Ray Ray, if ever there were a time to be honest with yourself, it would be now. <laughs> you ever know me to say anything that isn't true? You needn't pretend to have your life together around me. I can see right through that. Just be the child you are. You must realize, no? That even if the endless day is destroyed, that alone won't free you from the delusions. <sighs> um, what do you mean? I'm referring to the reason our memories still exist, even after our delusions are nullified. A phenomenon of which Asahi stands as living proof. I do? You dreamed up the repeating day, did you not? Yet you haven't lost a single memory. Despite the fact that your delusion was very definitely shattered. That's because you were and are still a deluser. Because there's another delusion now. I knew you were a smart one. Yes, another delusion was born. Just before the delusion of the repeating day was nullified, the delusion of the never-ending day came into existence. When one delusion was taken down, another was waiting in the wings. So what you're saying is... We're all... There is no limit to the number of delusions one can be a part of. That is what's happening here. The infinite potential of delusions. So I have other delusions in me, too? <sighs> I can't decide how you should all deal with this. Will you face your other delusions? Or will you avert your eyes? Will you live in a world of changing daily events? Or in an endless world where nothing changes? We don't have the time to weigh our options like that. Ah, oh, but you must. At times like this in particular, it is imperative that you make the time to worry. But... Oh, it's getting late, isn't it? So, if only for a night, or whatever the equivalent is now, I'd suggest you worry well. What do we want to do? That's the spirit. Worry now while you're young. It gets much harder with age, if only for the wrinkles. Shit, man, fuck. I could probably do one more part, though. You haven't gone home yet either, huh? I've been considering that this might be our final encounter and just wanted to come here for some reason. Yeah. Hey, Asahi. Even if our memories of spending time with everyone disappear, you think you'll still find me? I thought finding people was your job. No, not for this one. You're the one who found me, not the other way around. Or maybe I should say that you found the other me, the one I could never bring myself to tell anyone about, which is why I want you to find me again. If today does wind up being the end, I don't know if I can make it on my own. I was only able to be honest about myself because you were there for me. It was a pretty embarrassing time for me, but 
Thank you. Hey, what are you saying all of a sudden? She wants to suck your dick, bitch! Don't get all blushy and make this weird. I'm thanking you, so just accept it. You're gonna make me blush too. Yuri! Sorry. But I guess that's the one thing about you that hasn't changed in this whole ordeal, isn't it? Yeah. For everything I've learned and all the character growth I've gone through, I'm still just a neat. Well, as a savior of Akihabara, I'd say you're a pretty rare breed. Well, I wouldn't be doing any of that if I hadn't met you, Saki. So, thanks. Huh? Uh, no, no, that's not... Hmm? Come on, you're turning red now. You can't be so cavalier about saying such embarrassing stuff. He's thanking you, just accept it, right? But Pinkoon? Don't tell me you forgot he was here. Sheesh, I'd stay quiet for a bit and you get lost in each other's eyes. Th that's not true, dear. <laughs> 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 than seeing you blush over something. Pink Coon. But I wanted to say the same thing. Hold on, what were we talking about again? We were thanking each other, Dingus Lord. Sheesh. Dingus Lord, that is fucking new. <laughs> I knew that. I was just messing with you. I refuse to believe the lies of a neat. Okay, simmer down now. No need to get fussy. Go right ahead. Go ahead and what? Huh? You just said you wanted to say thank you. Go ahead, I'm all ears. Thank you for Jack. I want to thank Saki. Seriously? N me? You bet. A proper thank you has been a long time coming. Thank you for finding me, for one thing. No, I should be thanking you for finding me, even when I wasn't there for you. You still kept waiting for me and believing in me, didn't you? Of course I did. After all, I'm a familiar with a storied and honorable history bound to your family line. Like I keep saying. You're, no, you're not. You're just the fucking mascot of the fucking game! <laughs> Thank you, Pink Coon. Fucking but jackass! I of this all of a sudden. Well, I saw the two of you getting all mushy and I decided I wanted in. Besides, I also kind of felt like I had to say something, you know? I do. Since you're hanging around, I guess there's something I want to say to you too, Asahi. Could you have phrased that in a way that made me sound any more like an afterthought? Well, you are. So, yeah, yeah, what is it? Thank you for believing in Saki. Huh? It's just an incidental bit of extra thanks, remember? I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything. I mean, I won't, but why even bring it up in the first place? You believed in something pretty out there. It was a reality that sounded a lot like delusion, but you believed it. It's not like I didn't have my doubts. That's not it, though. You also believed in Saki the whole time she was gone, and... That made me really happy. Yeah, no duh I believed in her. Yeah. I mean, we're friends. Asahi. I want to thank you too, Pinkoon. Yeah, you better thank me. What an asshole! I want to thank you for... Wait. Now that I think about it, you didn't really do anything, did you? Come on, I'm the cute mascot character. Just having me around is more than enough. I lift your stupid spirits. <laughs> I guess you do. I mean it too. Having you around really does make things a lot better, so thank you. Mm-hmm. There we go. What do you say we head home now? I'm tired. Have a good night, Asahi. Saki? What is it? Have you decided what you want to do? Yeah. And this is just a what if. Just saying. But if all our memories together were to get wiped out, would you come find me again? For real? Yeah. It's just a what if, but if it happens, I promise you I will. I will find you. Then I'll promise you too. I'll try to find you again. That's the tomorrow I'm going to strive for. Yeah, and we won't get there. Uh... So each character has their own freaking notification. So we're gonna go save and do this the next time! I get to at least record one more part! Yes! Stay positive, everyone.